everyone welcome back to my channel and neha sultana narayan today we have a very important topic to discuss the case at 2024 cutoffs whether you are a first time aspirant or someone who has been uh, preparing for a while understanding the cutoffs is a uh, crucial for your uh, strategy and planning so before i begin my video i would like to say if you are new here then please make sure to subscribe to my channel for further updates and if you have any queries regarding this video then please uh, drop them in the comment section below so before before we get uh, started make sure to hit that uh, subscribe button okay and turn on notifications so you never miss an uh, miss out on the latest updates for ks at ugc net and other academic content uh, so trust me you won't want to uh, miss any important information uh, so let's dive into the today's video uh for those of you uh, who are new here let me quickly introduce the kset exam uh kset or the karnataka state eligibility test is conducted by the university of uh, mysore to determine the eligibility of candidates for the post of uh, assistant professor and a lecturer uh, in a, a lectureship in karnataka's universities and colleges so it's an important exam for those who wish to pursue a teaching career in the state and of course passing the the exam is the first step to achieving that goal uh, so the exam consists of two papers paper 1 and paper 2 paper 1 test uh, test uh, uh, sorry test so your uh, general teaching and research aptitude while paper 2 is a uh, subject uh, specific and focuses on your knowledge in your chosen subject uh, together both papers help assess uh, whether you are uh, ready to teach at the university level or not So now let's talk about the most anticipated part of the exam uh, the cutoff marks. Uh, the cutoffs are the minimum marks uh, required to qualify for the eligibility uh, certificate. So these marks are vary uh, from year to year based on uh, several factors and understanding these factors uh, can give you an edge in your preparation. Uh, so several factors influence the kset cutoff every year such as uh, the difficulty level of the exam so if the exam is tougher the cutoff is usually lower uh, so number of candidates more uh, you know more candidates usually mean a higher cutoff uh, especially if the competition is a uh, uh, fierce uh and and the number of vacancies uh, yes uh, so when talking about uh, this particular uh, part uh, the availability of assistant professor positions also plays a significant role in determining how many candidates are selected uh so expected cutoff for kset 2024 um is like uh, well the official cutoffs uh, for kset 2024 are yet to be announced we can look at trends for uh, previous year uh, years to estimate what you can expect okay uh, the cutoffs uh, typically range between 40 to 50% that's it that is enough for paper 1 for the general category and paper 2 cutoffs are often in the range of 45 to 55% depending on the subject uh so uh, okay case at 2023 cutoffs uh, approximate uh, is here uh, so uh, for the general category paper 1 had a cutoff around uh, 42 to 45 percent and for uh, paper 2 the cutoff ranged from 50 to 55 percent however if you belong to the reserved categories like obc sc st or pwd the cutoff will be a bit lower okay is usually between 35 uh, to 40 percent for uh, paper 1 and 40 to 45 percent for paper 2 for example um if you belong to the sc category your paper 1 cutoff could be as low as 35% and and for a paper 2 it could be around uh, 40% so this varies every year so be sure to check the official cutoff list uh, once the results are declared okay and uh, another important thing to keep in mind is that the cutoffs can vary depending on the subject you are appearing uh, for in a paper 2 for instance uh, so subject like english economics and uh, commerce uh, might have different cutoffs compared to other subjects like physical education or uh, uh, envir uh, environmental uh, science uh, so the competition level is each subject plays a big big role in determining the cutoff 
so uh, so if you are aiming for a subject with a larger number of candidates you might need to score higher to secure your uh, secure your eligibility always research previous years uh, trends in your subject area and uh, make sure uh, you are well prepared uh so understanding how the case set exam is scored is key to uh, uh, you know pre uh, predicting your uh, performance uh so Uh, paper one contains fifty questions, each carrying two marks. And paper two is a subject uh, specific, as you already know, uh, contains one hundred questions, each carrying two marks. For each correct answer, uh, you get two marks. Uh, there is no negative marking, which means you don't lose marks for wrong answers. So aim for accuracy. Okay. Uh, now. Um, how to prepare for the case at exam now uh, that we have covered the cutoffs uh, let's quickly you know talk about how you can prepare to meet or exceed these cutoffs uh, so i'm going to give you few tips understanding the syllabus so the first step is uh, to familiarize yourself with the syllabus for both paper 1 and paper 2 create a study uh, schedule and uh, divide your time wisely okay and the second tip is uh, practice previous papers one of the best ways uh, to get a feel for the exam is by practicing previous years papers uh, this will help you understand the types of questions and their difficulty level and stay updated this is my third tip that i'm giving you follow official case at notifications and uh, stay up to, up to date with any changes in the exam pattern or syllabus and of course take mock tests a uh, regular mock test will help you uh, assess your uh, preparation level and boost your uh, confidence uh, so i hope this video has given you a clearer idea about uh, the case of 2024 cutoffs and how the plan and how the sorry how to plan your preparation accordingly remember uh, the key is consistent effort and smart study strategies So if you found this video helpful please hit the like button share it with your friends and leave your comment below let me know if you have any questions or uh, need for the clarifications about the exam and of course uh, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more updates and uh, tips good luck with your preparation and i'll see you in the next video take care